on my wayward son. There'll be peace when you are done. Lay your weary head to rest. Don't you cry no more. Bandai Namco has officially announced a sequel to the Dragon Ball Xenoverse game. And yes, it's called Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. When the tease was first shown, the website itself, the the thing they typed in was called Fly Through Time, or something like that. So this should have been a hint that it might have been another sequel to this game. Now, with the teaser, it showed stuff from Bardock, History of Trunks, Lord Slug, and bits and pieces, even from the latest movies that was made, which I guess now we count as not quite canon due to Dragon Ball Super. But this new Xenoverse 2, from the trailer itself, shows that there's going to be like a new hub city appears to take place on Snake Way. And you're or apparently you're supposed to be protecting the Dragon Ball history. Again. And of course, a lot of people are saying, oh, well the first time around we had to protect the history. Well, guess what? We're still doing that. Because for some odd reason... Every time when I see something like this, it's like, Xenoverse, the first one, and the second one, all it reminds me of is that old Dragon Ball online game that was attempted years ago. I think it was... <sighs> I'm sorry if I get this wrong, but I think it was either a Taiwan or Korean game at first, and they were testing it out. But unfortunately, a lot of people, like, hacked their way into it by making foreign accounts just to be able to play it. And there were, like, many patches and downloads to actually translate the game. But I think due to that, due to how popular it was, I think Bandai Namco picked up the idea. I mean, Dragon Ball Online was about going back and trying to fix some errors that happened in the history of Dragon Ball. And that's what Xenoverse and Xenoverse 2 is about. Except Xenoverse 1 was like a duo of bad guys were going back and changing history somehow. For Xenoverse 2, we don't know. We don't know what's going on except for, I guess, the same type of time scrolls are being corrupted somehow. So, I don't know if it's like another demon or something else is going back in time and changing things. But I am looking forward to this game. Uh, it is coming out this year. 2016. It didn't say when on the trailer, but it said 2016. So, hearing that, you got to wonder if like the servers for this first Xenoverse are going to go down at some point. And one plus side about the Xenoverse 2... It is only going to be current gen and PC only. So the developers and makers do not have to worry about PS3 and Xbox 360 versions. And that right there is going to be a bit of a blessing for them because they can actually focus more on the three versions. The PS4, the X Xbox One, and PC editions. Now me... Okay, I met it. I'm going to be looking for this. I will probably get it day one. Because who knows what kind of bonuses there is going to be for getting it. Either the day one edition like there was for Xenoverse 1. Or maybe some pre-order bonuses themselves. Not, not just a day one edition. I mean, I think the day one edition for the original Xenoverse had like uh, additional battle armor. But it was just a separate code inside, and I remember when I got Xenoverse, I made sure I bought the Season Pass. Now, currently, I don't have the Xenoverse game, but that doesn't mean I can't go back and get it still. 
I mean, I do want to eventually beat the first Xenoverse game, and I wonder if any of your stuff will transfer over to the sequel.